this Saturday for eight medical marijuana facilities in Tacoma to shut their doors or face fines and penalties that could include jail time. Patients and providers are at City Hall protesting. Coma Force John DiCepolo is live in Tacoma where the protesters' voices were heard. And the council agrees. Is that right, John? Dan, that's absolutely correct. You know, hundreds of protesters have been lined up outside of Tacoma City Hall today behind me since about 4 o'clock this afternoon. As you can see, a lot of them are still here, and they said the city had no right to take away their rights to obtain medical marijuana. Now, the issue here is over the interpretation of the law. Basically, the state's law on this is vague, and both sides view it differently. The law, which was first drafted back in 98, states that dispensary operators can only provide medical marijuana to one patient at any one time. The activists argue that the law actually gives providers license to see more than one patient as long as only one patient is seen at a time. But tonight, the city council sided with the protesters to allow dispensary operators to continue selling medical marijuana. Uh, we are very, very happy and very, very pleased. Um, unfortunately, this is a band-aid, um, and it's a small fix on a bigger issue, but for right now, we're going to be allowed to operate. I don't think that they heard us until we came down here today. They're sending a letter out and uh, demanding that they shut our dispensaries down and make us find somewhere else turns us into street criminals. That will no longer be the case. Now, it's estimated that Tacoma's dispensaries provide medicine to about 10,000 different people and patients in the area. A lot of them that we spoke to said they're happy with today's decision. For one thing, it means they will no longer have to try and think about getting their medicine on the streets. Live in Tacoma tonight, John DiCepolo, Como 4 News.